Hi, Steve, and we're getting to the nitty gritty of the EV car now. So I'm just going to do lots of little short videos and kind of put them all together of the final stages of how I'm getting on. Um, so just want to do a quick update here, which is that the box is now finished. So got the side uh, or the underneath brackets attached to it. There we go. Ooh, very heavy now with those steel plates underneath. That's obviously where all the batteries are going to go in. Got the uh, compression plates here, which are going to go in there as well. And obviously the brackets sticking out the other side. Uh, more importantly, I have mounted and welded in the side supports. So that's in there, super solid, not going anywhere. Uh, four arms coming off. And if I go upside down, you can see the four arms there as well. So that's welded in. That's actually sat on the superstructure of the car. That used to be a beam that went across and kind of all the radiators and stuff. If you know about the RX-8, all the radiators were kind of leaning up against it. Um, so that's infrastructure sat on the car. So even if my welds kind of fail here, this isn't going to go anywhere. It will just kind of rattle around, which is what I've been looking for with all the welding I've done. I just wanted it in a position whereby if something failed, it wouldn't be catastrophic. It would just rattle and then you'd know obviously to fix it. So you can see the holes at the bottom here. I'm going to put the battery box in, going to lift it up and bolt it in place. So I'm going to do that next actually and um, I'll do a little video when that's done. Right, so that's gone unbelievably well. Um, enough measuring, pre-measuring, pre-fitting, test fitting and everything and we have a box installed in the car. So that's now bolted in down the bottom. If I show you down here. So there are four bolts there, four bolts the other side, holding that in place in a nice cradle with the aluminium box in place. Uh, the compression rods here as well, so these are going to come out to about there, which is enough space to get one battery, one battery in, and then the batteries will slide down this way, and, uh, and then that will just slide back through the final part. Nut in this side, and uh, tighten up to compress. Uh, one slight thing is the lid's not going to go on. There is a gap here for the lid, but obviously the lid goes straight on the top. So I need to just modify the lid so it'll slide in this way. I already knew I was going to have to modify the lid anyway. Uh, where is it? Because of... I need to get the high voltage cables out. So if I put this back on... Uh, over here, if I put that back in place... Wow, it really doesn't fit. Wonders of editing. There's the lid. So as you can see, the lid won't go any further that way because there's a lip on it. So I'm going to need to just take this edge of the lid off so it will just slide in. Um, and then there will be some modifications here to allow the high voltage cables through. I'll probably 3D print something to obviously make it all nice and safe. A bit like up here, I'm going to 3D print a surround for all of that to nicely insulate it, stop those being exposed quite so much. Um, so that's good progress. I'm really chuffed because that's been a lot of work, a lot of you know test fitting in and out, batteries in, batteries out. And um, although the batteries are super tight in the box and um, that's gonna be quite a lot of work. So I'm gonna get on with that now and um, I'll show you the results. So uh, yeah, putting the batteries in the box, this has been an utter disaster, I'll be honest with you. So despite all the test fitting and everything that I've done, I just have been unable to get the batteries in very easily. Um, I've done it now. Um, and if I show you around here, you can see I've basically got one row in there, uh, the other one's still pending. They're pending for a couple of reasons. Um, uh, it's unexplainable really, but the batteries should just slide in with each other. But for some reason, I don't know whether there's a little slight twist or something when I've put this all in, but they just don't slide. The last battery just gets caught like 10 mil from the bottom. And it doesn't matter what order I do it in or what I've done, <laughs> I've tried everything. Um, in the end, what I've done is I've used two bits of aluminium, ta-da, and put these either side of the batteries to allow this to be the smooth edge that it slides down, um, and eventually got the funnel battery in. So the other reason they're missing is I've done one of my normal cock-ups, which is I always measure everything perfectly. And it just drives me potty that I do the same thing over and over again. So my, my compression... Oh, oh my God, I've dropped you. My compression rods, these, uh, which slide through, I've measured them to the exact right length. Well, brilliant, Dave, because that means I can't put the thread on the end because they're the right length. To, they need to be like another 10 mil longer. So, unfortunately, I'll go out tomorrow, get some more of these, uh, get some more nuts to put on the end and uh, get those fitted and put through. But that's why all the batteries aren't in at the moment because 
I don't want to put them all in and find the rods don't fit through. I just need a little bit of little bit of movement. But hopefully with my aluminium now, um, that should be good. If I just show you back down here, uh, the batteries are all in, so that's it's looking really good. What I have noticed is that there's a little bit of sideways movement. You can see that on the camera. See, it, goes, it moves sideways there. There we go. Um, so I think I'm going to put a bit of dampening or something in here. This is just, it's only rocking where the arms are going down. And obviously they're, they're just they're just free to sway slightly. It's not any of the welding, it's nothing's loose. It's just just free to sway. Um, so I think I'll put something in here just so that it can, it can vibrate. I don't want it solid because I think a little bit of movement just takes the pressure off any of the joints. Um, so a bit of padding in here, a bit of 10 mil, something just down there, down there, and the other side over there. And it would just dampen that because I don't want it to rock too much because that would be catastrophic eventually with too much rocking going back and forward. So um, unfortunately I've got to wait another day now, get those rods, get them installed. Um, oh, one other thing I've done is I've modified the lid. Tum -tum. So the lid there now goes on like that and slides all the way in. So that's cool. So that's how the box is going to look. Ta now while I'm waiting, I've uh, put the wheels on and I'm actually going to just lower the car back down onto its uh, floor to then adjust the suspension because I put the new, the new springs in, so I'm going to adjust those. As you can see at the back here, I think this is going to be quite good. I think once the weight is on there, that's going to be quite good. But at the front, <laughs> this is quite amusing. Uh, yeah, it's already right tight here. So I think I need to lower this before I put the car down because that's just not enough space. The wheel's going to disappear up in the archway. So um, well, I might lower it first just to check actually. Uh, so I'm going to do that now actually. I'm going to lower the car and uh, I will have a look at where the wheels are. Right, I've lowered the car, um, and yeah, it needs raising up at the front. If I spin around at the back here, I think that I need to lower that. I mean, that's all the weight of all the batteries in the back, and uh, I'm really chuffed that I'm going to have enough play there. That's cool. I was just worried again that it was going to be too low, but that's nice. I'll be able to probably take, I reckon, another oh, I don't know, inch off that. Um, at the front, though, yeah, they're just set up really, really, really low. I mean, it's right up in the arch. I can't leave it like that. I need to get it a good, probably inch and a half higher. Yeah, at least I think. I might take some measurements. I might look at the stock car, see what the archway is like, but I want this gap really to be quite even all the way around the edge. I don't want it to look sunken in um, because <laughs> at the back, look at the front, look how low that is. I mean, the battery box is um, super low, which I don't like. Uh, it isn't, I mean, the, the original floor pan does fit underneath, so, um, it's not as if I'm, I've made it super low, but yeah, it, it needs to go up another inch, inch and a half, at least at the front. So I, um, I'm going to raise the car back up again, take the wheels off. Um, well, I'll make some measurements first, do some measurements, raise the car up, take the wheels off, adjust by the measurements I want, uh, put the wheels back on, drop the car back down again and see what it looks like. Thank God I've got a lift because I've just raised and lowered the car about 20 times to get the balance right on the suspension. I've never adjusted coil levers before, so it's been a lot of put the car down, see what the level is, take lots of measurements, lift the car up, adjust, down, up, down, up, down, and then you adjust the back and it adjusts the front. Well, it doesn't adjust the front, but obviously it, it kind of changes the lean of the car. So here we are. We have now um, a much better gapping at the front, much, much more even all the way around. That's obviously all with the batteries in. At the back, it, I don't know if it's slightly high, I've got a nice even gap all the way around, but um, I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. And uh, the good thing is I've taken lots of measurements and so I know both sides are the same, which is great. Um, so that's the good job out of the way, actually. I didn't envisage that taking that long. I think I just need to now tighten up the bottom bolts, which uh, are underneath the new coilovers. Just said, read many places that lower the car, let it settle, and then do those up nice and tight. Um, that's it for now. I think I'll probably publish this video. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.